So let's add a little bit to what Harden's talking about here. So here we got some cows, and we'll come back to these cows in a minute, uh, do a little bit of a attempt at drawing something for you. But the tragedy of the commons is basically that if people have free land or free use of public resources, they're going to overuse those public resources if there are no costs associated with that. So on the left, we have this really nice, what I view as being a very happy cow, if you see the nice green grass behind it and the blue sky, and nice little clouds there, and the, you know, the, uh, the cow's all clean and he just looks generally happy. On the right hand side, you've got what happens when you have overuse of lands, which is you know, dirty cattle and this, you know, overused property in which there's no grass left and it's just a bunch of dirt and you know, the environment in the background's horrible. So let's take a look at this tragedy commons and kind of work it out a bit in the way that Hardin did. And I'm going to switch over uh, and do something very dangerous here. And I'm gonna to try to draw something on a whiteboard. <laughs> so let's just say that we have a common area that's shared by everyone, right? So this is our little common area, what Hard uh, Hardin called the commons. And let's just say that we've got farmer A, actually, farmer B, farmer C, and farmer D. And they all start out and they've got a couple of cows. And in the interest of not taking all day to draw this and have them look horrible, make those little cows dots. Right. So there's cow number one, cow number two, cow number three, cow number four. All right, so all four farmers, farmer A, farmer B, farmer C, farmer D, they all have one cow and they all exist on this property very well. And uh, everybody's doing well, they're getting their milk, whatever else they need from those cows. And they go along pretty happily until farmer D says, ooh, you know what? I've got a kid going off to college next year and it's gonna cost me a lot of money. The only way I'm gonna be able to get by on that is if I have another cow. So Farmer D buys another cow and able to send off his son or daughter to college and making a little bit more money and Farmer A says to themselves, hey, you know what? Farmer D got away with that. I think I'm gonna get me another cow. So they get a cow. And Farmer B does the same thing. Farmer C does the same thing. The next thing you know, on the property that was being used by four cows, all of a sudden we've got eight cows. And the property starts to go into decline. Then all of a sudden, Farmer B says, uh-oh, I need a new tractor for my own private property. I'm gonna get some cows. Next thing you know, everybody starts buying more cows using the property. And we come up with a situation in which the property is overused. Now all of a sudden, looking at this property with 12 cows on it, where there used to only be four, it's overrun. There isn't enough pasture for it. It's basically turned into mud. Uh, it is not any more uh, usable. So the solutions are twofold, what Hardin just said. Either you have the government come in and regulate the number of cows that can actually be on that property, or else you institute the idea of private property. So let's institute private property. And let's divide this up into quadrants. And Farmer A now has their plot, Farmer B now has their plot, Farmer C now has their plot, and Farmer D now has their plot. And now they are incentivized to ensure, because there are fences put up here and all that kind of stuff, 
they are incentivized to make sure that they use the right amount of cows to sustain their own private property because they are now responsible for that. So now all of a sudden, what we see is this cow is over here. Um, get rid of him. Actually, we just added him. I'm just going to X him out. Pomeraces. Okay. I can adequately have two cows on my property. D says two. Maybe C's got a special kind of cow. Uh, but you can only have one. And this cow's too big. Maybe this guy goes to sheep, whatever the case is. And they find a way to be able to then self-regulate their own private property because they have the long-term interest of their property at stake. So the two models then uh, that Hardin said were one, government could take over and regulate how many there were, or B, and he called that socialism, uh, or B, we create private property. Now here's the problem with private property. Let's go back and just think to ourselves for a second um, about what might happen if there's a stream here. And let's say that stream runs through all four properties. And all four properties rely on that water from the stream in order for their cows to be able to drink, in order for them to be able to take some of the water out and irrigate their land. Now, all of a sudden, you have the problem of externalities. So this stream is owned at certain portions by the different farmers. But what happens upstream has a profound effect on people downstream. So if farmer D decides that he wants to put pesticides um, and uh, various other things onto his land in order to be able to create a better crop of grass or whatever he wants to grow, for his cows, that pesticide now gets into the water and is now starting to poison those cows that are downstream, right? So there's a problem in which the idea of pro private property doesn't actually work. And if we were to go farther into this idea of tragedy of the commons, there, there are different ways to, to kind of accommodate for this. But the one way that we're really talking about and the need for government to get involved in, private property here doesn't work because of externalities. Because what D does on his private property affects what C and B do because it basically uh, uses that water in such a manner that either pollutes it or maybe they take too much water out and there's not enough water for C and B, whatever the case may be. That's where the government needs to come in and regulate. So, there are a couple areas to tragedy of the commons in a market-driven society like the United States. One is private property is important uh, to be able to solve part of the tragedy of the commons, but we also need government to come in and regulate the externalities uh, in which one party is doing something that hurts another party's private property.